Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, this is going to be part two of building the uh, Tronix E X5S. So in this episode, what we're going to do is assemble the uh, uh, Z-axis, if you will, here. So we've got the linear rods here. We've got the Acme lead screws here. We got the anti-backlash nuts. We have the rails uh, or sliders for the linear rods. And then we have some bearings as terminators for the um, uh, the lead screws. We have the motors. They're already mounted on these uh, laser cut plastic pieces, which will be received in the bottom of the unit. And then what we do is we have these braces, which will receive the uh, sliders as well as the lead screws. Now these are self-tapped, um, not self-tapped. These are tapped already, and so these will receive. Um, these number four screws that I have set over here. So I'm going to go ahead and do all this and then uh, we'll come back and take a look at these once they're completed. So I'm going to go to the time lapse. Okay, so we're back. We've got these assembled. Um, be careful when you insert the rods in these bearings so you don't knock out. There's little bearings in here, little ball bearings, so you got to be careful. have to align them straight. Also, um, again, we've placed uh, some T-nuts on here that will slide in, and what this will do is receive to the top of the uh, um, lead screw. So what I'm going to do, it's, it's going to be kind of hard uh, for me to film this putting these in. Now they go in at an angle so they kind of tip up into the machine. Uh, so it's going to take a little finagling and I'm assuming I'm going to probably have to loosen up um, the top maybe a little bit. I'll, I'll share that with you when I come back and after that. Now notice one of the things here too on the rail that this is a little bit shy up here because again I'm hoping I get this in frame. Uh, this bearing is going to go on top of your lead screw, so you're going to want this to be a little bit lower than your rods when it goes in. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and slip these in, then we'll come back and we'll take a look at them. Okay, welcome back. So we've got uh, the Z, both uh, Z-axis lifts installed. I uh, actually went in a little bit easier than I thought, So, uh, but one of the things I am going to make note of that I didn't cover uh, a little bit earlier on is the rods are only tapped on one end and that end uh, apparently from the instructions go up and this just sets in here and so what I did is I cinched these down uh, here kind of aligned things straight so I put in the bolts in the top and then I cinched these down now one of the things to note is once I get this all built I'm gonna have to go back and kind of loosen it up straighten it up uh, and really get it square. Now I'm doing a little bit of that as I build it, uh, but I'm going to really have to fine tune the square once I get it built. And because so many things affect the square of the machine, this is where, um, again, when I get it built, uh, I'll go back and do that. So now what I need to do is install, I'm not sure these are coming in frame. Um, this thing is just so big, it's hard to kind of uh, photograph the whole thing. So we have these rods down here. The bed sits on it. Actually, the bed is so big, it has three leveling screws in here. And then it has two number fives, which bolt to the Z axis uh, over here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to assemble this. And then we'll come back and we'll take a look uh, once I put the bed on and see how, how all that looks. Okay, one of the things I wanted to show, this is probably a little bit not stock, well, definitely not stock, but one of the things, um, this came, and you probably saw in the unboxing, with this, the thermistor held on by some blue painter's tape. That was not going to last at all. That was kind of worthless. So what I've done, and I've lost my other, oh, here it is. So um, anybody that builds uh, 3D printers on a regular basis will have Kapton tape and some ceramic uh, tape also. So what I did is I, I took the blue painter's tape off, put some of the ceramic 
uh, tape for an insulative barrier on here and then put Kapton tape over it and then held the wire down here with Kapton tape. Um, so again, I definitely highly suggest this and I also suggest having this stuff around because it comes in handy if, you, if you're going to do 3D printers like this. So uh, just for maintenance and that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, put the, uh, install the bed now. And so I'm going to go back to a little bit of a time lapse. Okay, so I got the bed uh, attached. One of the things that's a little bit strange, and I'm gonna have to go back and do some checking, is I had to run the wires outside, uh, out this side of the bed. So the bed has three holes on each side, because as I mentioned before, the bed is held in place by six leveling screws. It, three in the front, three in the back. But there's also holes here, but they're not set centered so they don't line up with these bars however in this configuration see the wires have to come out this side or that side and the uh, holder for the cable chain is on this side so I took it out this side because the cable chain is going to mount uh, up here so, sort of like that um, to this rail so uh, I don't know I'm gonna have to look at some you know built pictures but a lot of times in the built pictures they don't show um, you know the wiring they don't actually have the wiring they just have the mechanics together so uh but i've got this assembled i've got the top cable chain set up uh pretty much most of the mechanics are together i haven't did the belting i'm going to do in the next video um i think do the wiring get the wiring done and uh, then um, in the final video we'll do the belts and um that should be about it. I think we print something then. Um, I'm just trying to think. Now, the other thing I think I forgot to mention is on the motors, on the Z motors, uh, it appears that the connectors go forward. So I took the connectors forward on both. Since the controller is going to be in the front, if I get in, I'll make sure I get it into frame here. So that if the controller is going to be in the front, I want to get the uh, have the wires going to it, to the front, um, so I can easily kind of contain them. Uh, so at least that was my thinking and that's what it looks like from the instructions. So far everything's gone together pretty good. Uh, knock on wood, I don't want to jinx myself, but it seems to be uh, ample extra screws and everything. So no problems there yet. Even some extra springs for the bed. So that's all a good thing. Um, so far to get to this stage, which basically 98% of the mechanical is done, has taken me about a little over two man hours. Um, you know, if I take out the time messing with the camera, walking back and forth to the camera and that kind of stuff. So not too bad uh, to put all this together. It goes together rather quickly. Uh, some of the bigger assemblies, you know, like the hot end and the pulleys and all that have, were already assembled. So that saves some time. So simply anchoring them. Um, and again, these e axis has went in far easier than I had expected. Now, again, as I mentioned in the earlier part of this segment, I'm going to true all this up, you know, once I get it together and I get the electronics working and I know all that's happening, it'll be a lot easier to, to get together. So anyways, uh, in the next episode when we get together, I'll do the wiring. And uh, so then there'll be one more episode after that where we do the belting and we actually get it running. So... Hey, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget Swag Shop up in the corner. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.